So my dear brothers and sisters, it's uh, often interesting to use our surroundings as inspiration. In the middle, we're in the middle of a kind of a storm at the moment, very strange weather out there, uh, very, very windy. And uh, what a great time to be in a chapel. What a great time to be in prayer. What a great time to be with the Lord, you know? Because it, it can kind of explain maybe what's going on, maybe, maybe inside you, maybe not. Uh, but a bit of a storm, a bit of a storm, you know what I mean? That can be raging around us or raging inside us. And yet we come to a place like this where there's light, where there's peace, where there's tranquility, where there's silence. And it's great. You know, it's great like, to be able to, to know that in, in the heart of all this kind of busyness and, uh, and activity, that there's, there's a heart. Like, this isn't just, how would you say, this isn't, we're not just part of this kind of body that's like, running and doing things and, and, and keeping busy and moving things and organizing things and arranging things and fixing things, but we're part of a, a body, yes, that has a heart, and this is it. And this is it. Like, this, is, this is the heart of it. This is the heart. This is like the, the, the center of it all. This is what it's all about. Everything else is peripheral. Everything else can actually come and go. Everything else doesn't really matter. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. If we eat today, don't eat today, who cares? We have Jesus. And a full fridge. So we'll be, I mean, we can make sandwiches. I'll make you sandwiches. So we'll, work, we'll work it out, you know. Well, the, other, the other things we'll work out. We'll work out. Uh, as long as the heart is right, everything else will fall into place. As long as the heart is right, everything else will fall into place. You know, and that's, I, by the way, like when I say these things, <laughs> I have to live them as well, you know. So these things aren't, uh, they're easy to say. You know, you get a kind of, a kind of little moment of inspiration. Woohoo, it's great. Uh, but I actually have to live this as well, you know. So like the, the <laughs> so to know like that, that despite all the business and everything going on, this is what it's all about. Bring it back to Jesus. Bring it back to the Lord. Bring it back to the heart of what it's all about. So this is actually a great time. It's an exciting time to be a disciple. This is an exciting time to follow the Lord. Because what we have is so necessary in the world, like faith and hope and love. These are so necessary in the world and so absent. And the more you work with young people, the more you get familiar with, uh, with, with like schools at the moment or, or families at the moment, the more you see there's such a need for faith. Such a need for God in their lives. Such a need for hope. Otherwise, as soon as a problem comes along, some sort of a disappointment or difficulty or rejection, people fall apart. No hope. And such a need for love. Like, who, who doesn't need love? Even people who act like they don't. Even people who have this kind of hard exterior. Of course they need love. Maybe even more. So, there's such a need. So this, this is a great time. It's an exciting time to be... A disciple. It's an exciting time to follow the Lord. It's an exciting time to be filled with him and to bring that, that, that divine presence into the world. This is a great time to follow the Lord. So we have a decision to make. Being, like, if you look at our history, uh, being Irish traditionally meant being Catholic. Being Polish traditionally meant being Catholic. Being Bavarian traditionally meant being Catholic. Being Italian traditionally meant being Catholic. But those kind of things aren't enough. It's not enough to have a, a kind of a, a tradition that your city, your country, was traditionally Catholic. That's nice. But there must be a personal answer from you. A decision, a personal decision made by you to follow the Lord. And your family can't do it for you, your nation can't do it for you, your parish, your diocese, no, nobody can do it for you. So sooner or later, like, this, this decision will, will present itself. It will mean, do I follow the Lord? And then we have to add, I think, a little kind of a specification there, a little bit of detail. It's not just follow the Lord as in I believe in him, but it's following the Lord wholeheartedly. Following the Lord with with everything. Am I willing to, am I ready to do that? Am I willing to say to the Lord, Lord, I, I, I trust you, I follow you. I decide for you. And what a gift that would be. See, in, in a place like this, a lot of kind of harder decisions are made for us. Like the decision, will you pray today, uh, is already made for you. 
it's on the program. You're going to find yourself in the chapel at half eight and for an, an hour in the evening. So that decision is kind of made for you. As far and against that, I mean, it's good that you're praying. It's better again if you decide to pray. Better again if you decide to be here. So that's where like our, our yes, our free will, our decision is absolutely key in getting something from this year. Because nobody can do it for you. There's no substitute to you deciding to follow the Lord. There's no, no, as I said, there's nobody can do it for you. I mean, even all the powers of heaven can't annihilate your will and force you to do something. So God himself waits for your decision. God himself waits for your reply. God himself waits for you to ask for help through prayer. God himself waits for your heart to be open so that he can come and change and prune and heal. God himself waits for you. It's kind of a, it's a pretty amazing reality. So the decision is, is yours. Do you want to follow the Lord wholeheartedly? This almighty, all-powerful God humbly waits for your reply. He has called you, he's called you by name, and now he asks you, do, do you want to follow me? It's amazing okay, to think like Jesus might say to, 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 to you or, or, or to me, am I enough for you? What more do you want? So this decision is ours. The, 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 the response to God's love is ours. And that decision is placed into our hands. So we ask today for for a new heart, for a great confidence in saying yes to the Lord, for that renewed decision to place the Lord at the centre of our lives and the centre of our hearts. May the Lord strengthen and guide us this day and always. Amen.